morning guys. <laughs> God, I look really bald. Um, welcome to a brand new vlog. Um, I thought I'd bring you along today because I am going having my wedding hair trials with Larry. So I'm going over to Larry King um, now. Hence why I've got wet hair because it's meant to just be damp. I mean, it's a little bit more than damp. But um, I mean, I got it done the other day with Amy at Larry's and then Larry was only available today. So I'm going in, we're going to do a couple of different hair looks. He told me to bring lots of ideas and I've accidentally forgotten. So I'm going to do that in the car now, in the Uber. <laughs> and um, yeah, just head over there now. So I thought I'd bring you along so I could show you and get your opinion. Here we are. Oh, oh, we've got these oh my God, I love the, the mustard bed. bed. Where'd you get that from? So her home. Soho home? Yeah. Soho house. You know Soho house? Yeah. yeah. Everything that you see in any of their bedrooms, <gasps> any of their rooms, you I'm can this buy. You it's can't so buy Soho everything, home. This is like the Larry King facelift. You do look a little bald, don't I? <laughs> it's because your hair's so black. Okay, we're up to look four. Loving everything all look we've tried. <laughs> I can't show you too much though because obviously I want you to be surprised when you see it. But I can give you a little sneak peek. This needs a name. I know, I know it does, doesn't it? It needs to be called a name. It needs to be called a name. What should we call it? I don't know. It, I think we should put some eyes on it. <laughs> that would be really cute. Little, little, little googly, googly eyes. Like the googly eyes? Yes! We're talking about the microphone. What should we call him? Larry. Larry. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Hi, Larry. Okay, we're on to look number five. God, the house is such a tip right now. I don't really want to show any more of this because it's just a mess. Back from Larry's, I also on the way back nipped by into the Dior um, press room just to pick out some outfits for Can. Tomorrow's super exciting. I am going to be meeting up with all of my bridesmaids and we're going to go try on dresses and shoes. So I thought this would be amazing to bring along for. So this is like a full wedding vlog again. I know a lot of you guys are enjoying them. So there's a few people like, oh, you're not really showing anything and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, I can't, I can't show you my actual dress fittings because then you'll see the dress and Alex would see it when editing, I mean, obviously. I'm trying to show you as much as possible and it's more just like little updates. So I'm sorry to anyone who feels like I'm not showing enough. I'm really, I'm trying my best. A lot of people are sort of saying, why are you naming your vlogs? after these little moments rather than everything else. And it's like, well, honestly, when you're up to 200 vlogs almost, naming vlogs is very difficult because you don't know how to name it. And those are my favorite parts of the vlog. So, I mean, I could name anything from that vlog. I mean, it's my video. It's all the things I've done that week and I'm choosing the things I'm most excited about to tell you about with the title of the video. So that's all it is. And I know that a lot of people will care about these little updates. So I want you guys to know if there's going to be like a little update in the video or if I'm going to be going somewhere to do something for the wedding. Honestly, I hate, hate coming up with captions and I hate coming up with video titles. I've never been able to do it perfectly or very well. So sorry to you people, but I really am trying my best and I'm just naming my videos after the parts that are most important to me that I'm excited about. So that's all it is. Anyway, so the rest of this vlog is going to be very wedding orientated, so I hope you enjoy it. Ah, <sighs> right, for the rest of the day I'm going to nip out now for a meeting about a super special project coming up. And then me and Alex are having date night tonight because we've not really spent any kind of nice romantic time together for a little while. So we're going to have a date night. Alex is making curry, I think. And we're going to watch a film. I think we're going to watch The Hobbit, actually. I was going to like curl up on the sofa together and do that. So yeah, I therefore will see you tomorrow for my bridesmaid fitting. Where shall I put you? Maybe here. Maybe like this. Better? What's that horrible greeny light about? Oh. Morning guys, Saturday morning. I am in a fantastic mood today. Absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see all of my best friends and my cousins today. My cousins are like my sisters, so. Although we barely see each other, but it's, I'm very lucky that I have that sort of family, that it's just so tight-knit that I might not see them in six months, but they're still like my 
sisters. So I'm really looking forward to seeing them today. We're all going to get in a Joe and the Juice. Uh, oh, sorry, just me put on the sizzly. What is this? Uh, Black Rose? Black Rose Precious Precious Face Oil. I've got my coffee. I am in one of those, you know, those like super zoom modes that you do sometimes when you wake up on a Saturday and you're in a good mood. Like me and Alex had a lovely date night last night. We watched that Triple Frontier that's on Netflix just because I uh, adore Charlie Hunnam. So we were watching that. It's all right. It's not great. Some of the, the storyline is a bit thin and some of the moments are a bit thin, but you know, it's good. Pretty good. Mmm. Oat milk, cappuccino. Well, it's technically more of a latte, but the machine says it's cappuccino. I really wanted to try this. I got sent this the other day, randomly. The Declior Creme Ambre Sun Kiss Cream. 97% natural origin essential oils. It's meant to be a bit of a glow cream. Look at this colour. I want to see what it looks like on... Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, let's see what this, what this does. It smells unbelievable. It smells like an orange field. God, it really does actually like add a bit of glow, doesn't it? bronzy it's like a bronzing cream and it's apparently it's decliors i actually read the i'll be honest quite often when i get these beautiful products through i don't always have the time to read every single press release unless i'm like majorly inspired by the product i mean i'm not saying that in a negative way it's just there are a lot of brand new launches all the time by so many beauty brands it's difficult to keep on top of it like if i was a sole beauty blogger then fine i could do it but i do a bit of everything and with me traveling so much i kind of fall out the loop a little bit so now that's like blended in you know, it still left a little bit of a bronzy vibe on my face. Skin feels nice, it's a stunning smell. It just feels really, really nice, to be honest. I'm quite impressed with that. I quite like that a lot, actually. I am, however, just going to go in with my uh, usual, usual, can you see it? Olium RMD Moisture Matte with, I'm, I use sand. So it comes out white and then it's one of those that like breaks up and starts to go, you know, a bit more bronzy. When you put it on, like if you can see, can you see it's starting to like match to my skin tone now, if you can tell. But I wear this every day just because I use so much retinol. I haven't the past few days because I had a bit of a, my skin had a bit of a freak out and it came out in red bumps for the past week. So I've been very cautious with it. I've only been putting on my Lumiere MD recovery balm just to try and bring it back to where it was to be honest. And it's pretty much back to normal now, which is great because I spend so much bloody time on my skin, don't I? I talk about it constantly. So it's a bit upsetting when you spend when you're so careful with it and then you put on something that you didn't expect it would upset it and then it's like buh, whole skin was just like coarse dry shoo, texture which doesn't want to put any makeup on it so base done anyway this this wasn't meant to be a makeup tutorial this was just meant to be a little um a little introduction to today sorry i get a bit carried away mm. oh that's delish i am however going to use this girl Anne have just launched their new um the new cases for the Rouge Je, Rouge Je, I'm really rubbish at French, Je, Rouge G, um, <laughs> lipsticks, which you've probably seen, they've got the beautiful mirror inside them, brought out some new ones, this is my current favourite, seeing as I am obsessed with yellow for the past year, <laughs> and this is my favourite shade, look how beautiful that pink is, like a matte pink, and this is number five I think, number five, number five, so this is one of the brand new ones I've just brought out mattes on these, so pretty like i'll leave i think they're out now i'll leave a link down below if they are so you can have a look at the new cases and whatnot because i know they like people like to collect them so i thought i'd mention last night i was just going around the house pulling out little things i could take for the girls as little gifts whenever i see my girls i like to take them the odd thing that maybe isn't for me or that i'm not using so they can use it at home instead so i went and did that yes last night as well after our date night <laughs> date night turned into cleaning night for me yes i'm all organized today and the house is looking fantastic because I'm on like a, okay, I digress to what I was saying earlier about me being in one of those like Zoom modes where I'm just like on and one. So I got up this morning and did a delicious curry last night that Alex made. So the whole house now stinks of curry, although it was absolutely delicious and totally worth it. So I've had to like open every window. It's nice though, letting in a bit of a nice airy breeze. And I've been cleaning, tidying, I've put on a wash. I've put away all of the other like laundry. Alex just said, that is the American term. Alex just said that. What is the English term? Clothes? Clothes off the clothes rails? The laundry, you know what I mean? I just put it all away because I had like two loads out. You know, I'm just in one of those moods where I just want to get stuff done before I go out. But now I'm on the wire, so I need to hear it up a little bit. 
So I will catch up with you guys back when I, oh by the way I'm going to use my nails, obviously as always, soft matte concealer. I'll catch up with you guys in a minute when I'm all ready and I'm on my way. In fact I might just catch up with you guys when I make it to the Prenovius store. Here we are and I've got all my nails with me. Oh, <laughs> Joe and the juice advert. <laughs> okay, we have made it into Pronovius. I don't actually think that I've mentioned to you guys. This is a big reveal. So Pronovius are going to be my bridesmaid dresses for the wedding. So I brought my, well it should be six girls that should be here. Natalie is unfortunately really, really ill, but I have five of them. And Rebecca of course is in Chicago. So the five of my girls are here and we are going to try on all of the dresses. And Charlotte again. <laughs> Charlotte's just like my special guest in all the vlogs. <laughs> so we've got so many options. We're going for a bit of a blush theme here. So we have this unbelievable dress with this boning detail in here and the tulle floaty skirt, very ethereal. This one is a little bit different but with straps and this um, like sequin triple sequin through here and this one is unruffled with a side section that drapes over the arm. This one is high neck and I think could look actually amazing on all of the girls and the sequins come all the way down the back like swoop down. Again they're all kind of in the same <coughs> length. This one, wow, looks a bit of an off shoulder piece for this with pleating over the front. This one the girls are in love with. I mean, look at this. This beadwork is beautiful. And then I called this one the wild card because I've never seen this one before. Look how good is this? I actually love this. I want to wear this one. This is gorgeous. Just in case I want to go for a different style and go for a mini. So we've got quite a lot to try on. Yeah. Quite a lot to try on, and I'm going to show you as much as pos, and then I would also love your opinions on what you think about how, um, how what all the dresses that the girls have tried. Let us know what you think. Right, okay, so let the try on commence! <laughs> Shall I learn? Oh, so beautiful in these dresses. <laughs> We're going to the like fairies. Mm -hmm. I think it's nice. Oh, I think it looks Better than the other one. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I actually, I love both actually. The other one, I love the top of this. The top's gorgeous, and all this detailing is just stunning. I think you look gorgeous. But when you want to feel comfortable, from whatever, mm. whatever you like in that Yeah. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh, yes. I really like it. <gasps> wow. I really like this one. Oh, oh, that's really beautiful. I really like it. So that's what you're supposed to look like, isn't it? How many different ones? No, I just it's beautiful. Just beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. Really beautiful. This, I, I wanted my original wedding dress to be like this, and it was, not, it was nothing like this. Oh my Oh, she's got a zip top, thank you. Yeah. The thing is, they're all in the same colour scheme, that, so maybe, you know, as an option, oh. we could go. Oh, oh. 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 I'm changing the rules here. But, you know, at least, the thing is, it's all the same colour scheme, yeah. so it kind of. Oh my gosh, look at the way that moves yeah. at the back. Oh, look at the back. Let me see. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's oh my god. Literally, it's I just be like stood there. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh, are you getting married? Oh, I love this on you, babe. Oh, that's really oh, nice. Oh, it's nice. Isn't it? Isn't it? Look gorgeous. Oh, I just love how literally it's the same colour skin now, isn't it? So it kind of works. Oh, I mean, that's look really at this on dress. Look at The back's really nice. Yeah. But I just love the detail. Oh, it looks gorgeous on you. Oh, that is beautiful. <gasps> but then what, what would um, Beck and Nat wear? What would you want them in? Oh, I don't know now. It's hard, isn't it? Because I feel like Do you want like this, Charlie? In this dress I think that really looks like I think it looks like it's the error we've all made today. <laughs> I kind of want to try this one on. I know, I, look, I actually love it. It would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? A short option. With a tan. Mm. A bit different. Because like aren't you going for short? Sure? Literally yours. Uh, yeah, like midday. 
this one. I like them all. I think you'd look great in them. Oh, yeah. so much. <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. That oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, my God, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh, it's got edges. <laughs> and it's got pockets. Charlie, do you love this one? I love it. Do you love this one the most? I think so. I'm quite oh, liking the idea so of everyone wearing it. Yeah. Yeah. Do, yeah, do, do you want everyone in the same? Well, not necessarily, I'm not like, I'm not like intent on it. Yeah. Sorry. I'd rather if I'm be like, I love this one, I love this one. And they're all in the same colour scheme. Yeah. So, do you want to try, I'll tell you what, try this one. Yeah, yeah, Put yeah. it up to you. Yeah. See what you think, because you never know, you might be like, actually, it's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. Ooh, damn. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I think it might be a bit small here. Small there. But bit, I could but go too, bigger, too, too big. big yeah. I love oh, the this, waist. It's, it's always been my problem, though, like, mm -hmm. small on top. So, I mean, also, that could, be, that could be taken in, though. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That is stunning. Oh. Charlie, you look really nice. I think yeah. I prefer that one to the other one. But there there is one. another one. Honestly, I for my wedding, I wanted a Grecian wedding dress exactly like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah. Oh, sorry, I've got tags everywhere. Oh, isn't it just amazing? Oh. I love the bits on the side. Yes. So beautiful. I mean, oh. who, who knew that a bin bag would look that good? <laughs> <laughs> isn't it gorgeous? That is stunning. Oh. The detailing in it is beautiful. So when's this for? The Friday. The Friday. Oh, right. This is for today. <laughs> <laughs> the embellishment on it is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, do you feel lovely? I love it. This picture. <laughs> How good is that? Right, okay, so we've tried on about six different dresses. All the girls love different ones. Because <laughs> obviously all the different dresses for different body shapes, a different style, so all the girls all kind of have their favourites. So I'm still unsure as to whether to do as to whether to do all the girls in the same or all the girls in different. I'd love your opinion. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm still not too sure. Obviously I also need to get Beck and Nat into the dresses to see what they think. Oh, it's so beautiful in here. <laughs> <laughs> now on our way to look at shoes. <laughs> Woo! Woo! So um, yeah, we're on our way to Sophia Webster in Sloan Street. Sloan Street? In South Kensington. Oh, look at me, I don't know. <laughs> to try on, to try on our shoesies. So we're all just uh, crammed in this Uber on the way and this is very shaky, sorry guys. <laughs> Um, but we had an amazing fitting at Pronovius. Pronovius, Jessica. <laughs> Not Provenus. <laughs> Pronovius. And now we just need to go and check that all the shoes are perfect and fit them all. So we can show you the shoes too. This is a big like reveal day today. Okay, we are here guys. Gorgeous. Just a beautiful rose. It is, and this is such a nice day, isn't it? Come on, Dad, get in. <laughs> oh my god. That's delicious. So six again. Oh my gosh, what is this with such a size? Size. What? <laughs> Two, three. Oh, yeah. I didn't even like the floor yeah. as well. Yeah. I really want yeah. like, yeah. yeah. so pretty. Just makes, I have just done that one. <laughs> I mean, now we have the champagne ones. Mm. I think these style are my favourite. The champagne ones. Yeah. Are they? They're so pretty. They're beautiful, that satin. Yeah. And oh. the bottoms. I think the 
really cute. Oh, I can't design them. I love them all. So this is a champagne satin. You like these, don't you? I love these. These are my favourite. Are these your favourite? These are my favourite. Because they have... The, I like the colour. I would wear these again. And they've got the wifey for life. I have the wifey for life stiletto. They look beautiful. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah. With that sparkly top. Oh no, that's too much leg in there from me. <laughs> 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 that leg is on the back foot no. onto there. Why is it? That's it, that's just keep his leg out. Just because it's so fun. Yeah. And I feel like at night when all the lights are on, yeah. you're dancing. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you've all lifted up. them up and you're all like dancing. Thing it's going to spark heel. Look at this. They are so beautiful. Aren't they amazing? So yeah. these are what Rebecca wore. Rebecca wore those blue ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm the last to get married this year and then we're all married. Yeah. What else do I need? Something new? Oh, yeah. Something Dresses. The old is a sixpence. Yeah. In your yes, shoe. Yes, you've got the shoe. I've got the sixpence six in your, in your shoe. shoe. So I, so her um, mum um, has a really old sixpence. So I wore that in my shoe when I got married. And she's, I'm gonna, yeah, because it's, yeah, it is it's it's surprisingly. So I'm, yeah. I'm making a stick it in her shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she's really happy about it. <laughs> no, it's not lovely. And then how cute these flats are. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. They are so beautiful. Yeah, and they match. Um, we well, match the heels. Exactly. Yeah. Potentially, I could have them all standby for the evening of the wedding, just in case my feet are sore and I want to wear flats. Yes, yeah, good to point. dance them. Yeah. Just in case, and if not, I could come home in these. Okay, so try on done. We've had the most amazing day. So trying on the dresses, still making choice on dresses, and then trying on the shoes. But because all the dresses are of a certain tone, we can kind of, kind of pick the shoes accordingly. So I think we know now which shoes. I'm not going to let you guys know, but let us know what you thought were your faves overall. It's so beautiful here. This was the perfect place to kind of have a little bridal try on. How nice is this guy? I love that you can. Everyone can finally get to meet all my besties. As well, proper. I mean, I know you know Steph. You're probably sick of Steph now. Aren't you? The last time I was on your vlog, I was, <gasps> I was pregnant. Mm. Were you? Yeah. Were you I was really? like four months pregnant. We did our little mm. chat. Tutorial. We did our chat. I love yeah. that video. I absolutely love it. I'll leave that video linked because it's so funny. Yeah. I loved that video so much. <laughs> but they've never met Jess before, oh. and you met Charlie before, I think. <laughs> but of course, we'll see everyone for like the hen party vlog. There is going to be a hen party yeah. vlog. And there's going to be, penises. no, there will not be any penises. Thank you. <laughs> no. And then obviously then the wedding.